born to do that. I was almost always a performer. My parents uh, loved and talked a great deal about Al Jolson, and they would put records of Al Jolson on, and I would learn them and lip sync to them, down on one knee, mammy, you know, the whole, the whole thing. When I was four, five years old, maybe, maybe even younger. Many years later, when I went to acting school, went to drama school, and had my first acting class, and it was a lecture by this wonderful teacher named Charles Moore, Charlie Moore. And he said, here's the thing. If you like to stand in the light while other people are sitting in the dark watching you, you're an actor. You know, the rest is tricks. <laughs> 14 or 15, I did my first real show, which was the musical of Peter Pan. When I was one of the Lost Boys, and I still am, I had a little solo in the... Uh, in the song, I Won't Grow Up. It was like time stopped. You know, it was like I was in this moment and I was loving it. And I was, in one way I was singing the song, which I was doing, but in the other way I was saying, wow, look where I am. I'm loving this. This is what I have to do. It was like that. We want to be able to express ourselves, express what's inside us. At a certain point in my life, I was done with acting. You know, we did this television series, and it, we did it for eight years. And, and I said, wow, I never have to do that again. So that was a big moment for me, and that's when I started writing. What do I dare tell? I'm dazzled by the possibilities and how the world that we perceive is not what it is at all. At all. A very, 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 very famous author, Kafka, Franz Kafka. And he said, you need not even listen, just wait. The universe will, res re will reveal itself to you unmasked. It has no choice. It will roll in ecstasy at your feet. And that's that space between. That's where all inspiration comes from and really all knowledge. But you have to get out of your way. You, you are who you are. And... Um, after a life of pretending to be many other things, it's really wonderful just to be who you are. It's not easy, but it's a noble quest for each of us to um, try to find out who we really are and then be it. Fully. Fully. So what each of us has an obligation to do is to put out each of our truth. And then hopefully we can do it with courage because it's dangerous now to say what you think is true. And the more danger it is, the more we, we have to do it. If it offends someone, if it in, in, you know, uh, inspires someone, you hope. But even if it offends someone, well, this is my truth. I didn't, I didn't say it to offend you. I'm sorry you're offended. I didn't even say it to inspire you. I said it because this is what I have to say. That's what we have to do. You know, and even if it doesn't seem like what you have to say is very pertinent to the problems of the world, it is, because everything is. So you don't have to write about politics or war or, or race relationships or all these huge problems that are in the world today. You just have to write about what you want to write about and express it the way you, it's true for you. And it will have an effect. Mm -hmm.